If you don't set up routines in the morning to prime your day for what you need to do, your day will be dictated on how you feel in that moment, which could be good, it could be bad, you're not quite sure. The best day ever mindset that we have is really about finding repeatable success through things like discipline, setting up your morning to prime your day to do well during the day so that you do not fall prey to how you feel in every moment. I think for people who have a hard time working out at night, it's because the rest of the day kind of runs away from them and things that you can't plan for. I think that's one of our biggest problems is a lack of prioritization. If you don't prioritize your day, somebody else is gonna prioritize it for you. So if you don't take the time to take care of yourself at the beginning of the day, you're gonna leave yourself open to feeling overwhelmed by meetings, feeling overwhelmed by calls or projects that come up instead of saying, I'm gonna set up my morning for success. These are the things I know I have to knock out in order to be capable of handling those things that might come up. And then at night, we set the same structure up so that you're making day-to-day -day consistent process on the things that progress on the things that you want to achieve. If you want to learn a language, you have to practice it every single day. You can't just sit down one time a month and spend 10 hours doing it. And I think bad study habits in college on cramming for things kind of lead over into professional lives too, instead of setting up those days or setting up your day with a structure and a routine to be successful each and every day. And with those routines, I think one of the most special things is they don't have to be this three hour saga of all these different things that you do every single day. You actually wanna make them short and concise. You wanna say, I'm doing this because it's gonna help me do this. So we give you guys examples like waking up in the morning and just saying, I'm gonna have the best day ever. Every day, try that for a week and see where that leads you. Then we start to add in small things like breathing or stretching or doing things that are gonna prepare your body and your mind to have unlimited success. And then just like Jason mentioned, we do this again to close out our day. We think of it as bookends. You have the start and you have the finish. Anything can possibly happen in the middle, but you have those times to make those your thing. So we should turn our phone off before we go to sleep. Again, we stretch or we journal about our day. Those things could be five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how much time you're willing to put in. But if you do those consistently, you can take those with you when you travel. You can take those with you when you have a big stressful meeting coming up that day, or you can do that on a Sunday morning when you've slept in. Whatever it is, you can take those things and do them on a consistent basis, make sure that there's something that you can repeat, and then that starts to build that momentum. I think you're gonna have items that are mandatory and items that are nice to have. And the items that are mandatory, it's the minimum effective dose to be able to achieve that. Maybe that just takes five minutes of personal hygiene care in the morning to make you feel good and energized entering your day. Maybe that's a minimum effective dose of this is how much time I have to spend meditating or taking a break during the middle of the day to feel like you've removed that layer of stress that has built up from all the things that happened in the morning. That then in turn gives you the energy and the freedom to spend however much time you want on things that you enjoy for recreation. So we have these things that we need to do that we know if we just spend five, 10 minutes doing in the morning, it gives us all this extra energy and free time throughout the day. Those five to 10 minutes of items and routine are always necessary and mandatory so that we have all this extra energy, which leads us then, leaves us then free time to pursue the things that we want to just for fun instead of feeling overwhelmed like we haven't achieved anything yet.